Hey, what's doing? It's Barber Jonty. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to stand out as a barber. Number one, excellent customer service. I didn't realize that how important, well, I always knew, I always knew customer service was very important, but I didn't realize how much barbers are lacking customer service. It's, it's incredible. I hear stories from clients that now come to me for haircuts that, oh, you know, he rushed or this barber, it just didn't feel, I just didn't feel comfortable getting my hair cut by him. So that tells me that a lot of barbers aren't making that, that extra effort to, to, make their, to make their clients comfortable. And bro, which makes my life super easy. You know, I've been, I've been around people, I'm used to being around people. I've played a lot of sports. I'd have to talk to a lot of parents of my teammates. I used to coach kids sports and I'd have to talk to parents. I'm able to communicate with people. Turns out a lot of barbers don't know how to do that. It's incredible to me, but oh well. So that's one way that you can stand out. Incredible customer service. Just, just, having, just having customer service and being able to communicate with people. Funny story, my first week at this new shop here in Reevesby, one of my first haircuts was an older gentleman. You know, we are chopping it up. Just got a simple haircut. He said, you're really good to talk to. I was like, you know, you know, I, I, thanks, I appreciate it. But, you know, it really goes to show that a lot of barbers aren't taking that extra step to give, to give their customers great customer service. All right. Number two, making your clients look their best. I'm starting to believe that barbers don't really care about how they make their clients look. If you make your clients look good, you make your clients feel good through the customer service that we'll talk about earlier, through the customer service and you make them look good, they're gonna come back and they're gonna tip, they're gonna tell all of their mates about you. They know I'm gonna get a great haircut experience from John T. I'm gonna get a great haircut experience from this guy over here. He looks after me, he makes me feel comfortable, and he makes me look good. Make the extra effort to make your clients look good. Do a little bit more research. See what looks good on a specific race of clients. See what looks good on clients with a specific head structure. If your client has a round face, don't, don't give him a close haircut. If he has a round face, give him a longer beard or a longer hairstyle. If he has a square haircut, you need to even it out by rounding it. There's a lot of different things that you can learn to help your clients look their best based off their genetic facial structure. And number three, kind of falls into the first topic, but you gotta be professional. You gotta be professional. Even when I was cutting at home and I'd walk out to greet my new clients, I used to cut in a granny flat, I'd walk out the side gate to meet new clients, dressed, uniformed, it would catch them off guard. They're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna get a haircut despite a mate of mine. But then they see me in black attire, professional uniform attire, it leaves a very long lasting impression. A lot of clients recently have been telling me that I look very professional. Why? Because I'm dressed uniform. I'm wearing dark colors. Black is a service-based color. And barbers, these are three ways that you can set yourself apart from other barbers in your city. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.